What are you saying people? It's myself, Mr. Mo. Welcome back to another video on my channel where we talk about trainers and streetwear. In today's video, we'll be looking at the Jordan 1 High in the heirloom colorway. As always, before we get into this video, make sure you like this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel. It helps me to continue making great sneaker content and it keeps you updated with notifications, letting you know when I drop new videos on this channel. I'm going to start off by saying that I definitely didn't expect myself to like these shoes as much as I did when I received them in hand. Firstly, when we saw some of the product images, I just felt that they weren't the best images that really captured the color and some of the materials that were used with the shoe. And I think in general, when you see Jordans that don't use that white space color for the toe box and the sides, and of course, when we have a shoe that doesn't use the standard leather that we expect with a Jordan 1, it's generally a shoe that we expect not to sell out and a shoe that won't do as well in the general public. I put this shoe up actually on my Instagram and a few people liked it, which was particularly interesting because normally when we have shoes like this, as I've said, people tend to avoid them. But then when I received them in hand, I fully understood why. Now, although I have said that I can understand why a few people on my Instagram page really like this shoe, it hasn't managed to convince the masses as we are still seeing these sitting at many of the major retail outlets in the city. Offspring, Foot Patrol and Nike to name a few have almost full size runs of the shoe and I don't expect this to be selling anytime soon. I managed to pick up my pair from Nike and I got this for £165. The Jordan 1 High Heirlooms come in a unique Jordan 1 box. We have Nike on top of the box in this cream colour that's outlined in brown. The remainder of the box is in this tan colour and we do have this dark brown print which is reminiscent of the Jordan 1 Rebellion Airs that released towards the beginning of this year. Opening the box as well, we do see a similar print on the wrapping paper. Moving into the shoe, but starting with the sole, we do have this tan outsole with your standard Jordan 1 white outsole. We're moving into the remainder of the shoe, we do see the tan colour that covers the side portions as well as the lace holes and is seen towards the back of the shoe. And the remainder of the shoe is covered in this twill material that covers the toe box, the sides and the top part towards around the ankle. The tongue also is of this tall material and we do have black laces, although we do see that the shoe comes with extra red and blue laces in the box. However, I recommend sticking to the normal black laces. In terms of sizing, I would go for your true to size in the Jordan 1 as this fits as a normal general release. However, because this is sitting at a number of retail outlets, I would just recommend going down to one of them and trying them on. And that's pretty much it for the Jordan 1 High Heirloom. I've been sitting on this shoe for the last few weeks and I've been deliberating whether I should add this to my personal collection. I will be sending these back as there was a recent Fear of God drop and I'd like to get a few pieces from there. But I can definitely see this being a shoe that I do buy back at a later date simply because I don't feel that the resale price will go up and it will be sitting at retail outlets for a little while. However, let me know if you feel different. Let me know if you managed to add these to your personal collection myself Mr. Moore there'll be many more videos coming soon remember to like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel and also add me on Instagram at Mr. Moore underscore underscore 